Hey guys, this is Verbal Engine 95 recording from your local county prison cell, and I'm in a good mood because I like this episode, but yeah, one thing I'd like to say is I apologize for the late upload of Thursday's video, which now I guess you know as Friday's video because again, it was a late upload. So yeah, um, sorry about that. Um, and... Meh, yeah, whatever. So, I'm just gonna get right into this week. Um, oh wait, yeah, sorry, blah, blah. Uh, I give... Meant to say that uh, I will probably be releasing two on Monday, because I'm recording this one early. So, you know, that's just my sort of way of making up for not doing the one on time, because I really try to do these on time. Uh, cause it's a pain in the ass to try to get myself to record them. But anyway, point is, I'm doing this one now, so, yay. And I really like this one. This one will work. It is going to be, and again, can never tell if you can see this, especially since now, it, for some reason, my phone decides it's a good time to glow red and blue. But, screw it if you can't see, it's Ash Williams from Evil Dead versus Juliet Starling from Lollipop Chainsaw. Oh my gosh! I love these two. I love these two characters, and I love the idea of them killing each other. Um, I'm not actually going to do a right off the bat right just yet because, like, a, who I think would win right off the bat, because this is, because there's a little debate to go down this. In Lollipop Chainsaw, throughout many points of the game, you get, you get an upgrade to your weaponry, and most of them, if not all of them, involve the disembodied head of her boyfriend, Nick, I believe his name was. Now, does that count as outside assistance? Using your boyfriend's head if it's still alive? Does that count as outside interference? Because then again, uh, Dig Dug used those kangaroo things. Or no, no, sorry, Bomberman used those kangaroo things in when he was fighting Dig Dug. Yeah, Bomberman used those kangaroo things that were like Yoshi's, so... I, and Yoshi summoned a little baby him come to think of it, so, outside interference, I guess, you have to, they have to literally be attacking the person for you, for it to count, so I guess it wouldn't. With that being said, I'm gonna go with Juliet. If not, you know I am going with Ash Williams, because he is fucking awesome. Yes. But... How perfect of an episode would this be? It, like, writes itself. No, first of all, Boomstick. Boomstick. Bo boomstick as in the... The... The uh, persona that Chad has. Chad James from Screwtech. And Boomstick, the name that... The name of the sawed-off shotgun Ash uses. How per... Uh, come on, that's a, there's something there. And also, the scene from Army of Darkness, where, you know, they, they, they would probably be like, you know, he uses a sawed-off shotgun, which he calls a boomstick, blah, 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 insert joke, and then we'd go over, and then, like, they could just play the scene from Army of Darkness, where he basically gives an entire fucking, like, breakdown of what, of, of what the boomstick is made out of. You know, the, all right, you primitive screwheads, listen up, this is my boomstick. It's a 12-gauge double-barrel Remington S-Mart's top of the line. That whole scene, they could just play that. They could make a joke about that. They could be like, you know, we would explain it, but Ash does a pretty good job. Take it away, Ash. You know, that sort of thing. It, I mean, I'm just spitballing here, but... And then, the way Juliet Starling dresses as a fucking cheerleader, voiced by Tara Strong, there's gotta be some good dialogue for, for Chad Boomstick there. So... Come on! Just make this episode, please! I'm begging! This is perfect! This one works 
so well. Anyway. Ugh. I'm just now realizing there is a lot of time to do all these. Because think about it. We had the ones we had to have happen in season one. And then filler. Season two, going on right now, we had the ones that we had to have happen. And now we're getting Fulgore Sector, as if that one was recommended so much. So, filler. So, all these ones that I'm suggesting right now, because the ones at the top of the list are the really suggested ones. Yeah. Um, these ones could be done at any point. Because I remember in a press conference they actually said, you know... We want to be doing this, like, for as long as we can. I, I believe somebody asked them, what was it? They asked, uh, you know, where do you see Death Battle in five years? Or where do you see yourselves in five years? And they said, hopefully we're just doing the same thing we're doing now, but better. So, think about it this way. Five years equals 50 episodes, which equals two seasons of Death Battle. And if they stopped after five years, that would mean we'd get a hundred episodes of Death Battle. So, yeah, I mean, I'd prefer more than that. I'm not demanding or expecting there to be more than a hundred episodes of Death Battle, but... I mean, I'm not, I mean, I, I'm not saying I expect, I'm not saying I expect it to be less than a hundred episodes. I'm saying... You know, I'm not like, ooh, they have to at least do, you know, like, yeah, it's up to them, is what I'm saying. And, you know, hats off to them, I love them for it, for doing it. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people love it, love the fact that, you know, Screw Attack is working their ass off to, well, okay, Chad and Ben specifically, but they have a lot of, well, yeah, they're the masterminds behind it, but... I love the fact that they're working their asses off to to do this just for our entertainment. It's just a fan giant fan service show, so yeah. So you know, hats off to them. And uh, yeah, so that's why I'm sort of because I'm I'm just going over the first part of the list. So yeah, that's just why I brought that up. Anyway, guys, um, my point is, so right now, like I said, Ash Williams, and also, I will say, Juliet, if she can use all of her Nick weapon, like, the Nick weapons, using his head and stuff, she would win because, I mean, she would just be better equipped. Unless Ash got, like, the Necronomicon or something, but that's just, no, that's just cheap, because he, he clearly got rid of that. So, yeah. Um, because what? All, all Ash has, weapon-wise, is the groovy arm, which is the chainsaw attached to his arm that he cut off with the chainsaw. Funny enough. Um, which actually, in Army of Darkness, became a sort of robotic hand that could crush metal, so that's pretty awesome. But still, he uses the chainsaw part, so that's even better. And the boomstick. That's all he really has. He has fight experience, he kills zombies and shit. That's it. Juliet has her chainsaw, which is... It's so girly that it's awesome. Like, it's so... It's so girly that you don't feel like less of a man. It's weird. It's like... For, for playing it and enjoying it, it's like... If, if any girl... <laughs> If any girl used a chainsaw as a weapon and decorated it like this, then you wouldn't give a shit if you were being cut. You would accept being cut up by a chainsaw that girly because it's just like, you know, yeah, it's, it's a weird way of putting it, but she's got her chainsaw and then she's got her Nick weapons, the Nick launcher, or Nick cannon. <laughs> okay, no, it's not the Nick, it's not Nick cannon. It's not, he's, it's not, it, you know, it's not a weapon that hosts, that, uh, hosts wild and, or, it's not a weapon that hosts, uh, wild and out all the time, no. It's, uh, it's a launcher. It launches its head, and then it somehow returns to her. And then the Nick Bomb, which she only used once because it killed him, but then they brought him back, so. 
Come to think of it, no. Actually, come to think of it, yeah, Ash would win because she wouldn't get his head. Because at the end of the game, he got brought back with, what was his name, Yoshitori or something, the master's body? He got brought back, so he was alive, so she wouldn't use his head, so yes, Ash would win. Ashley J. fucking Williams would win. <clears throat> so anyway, happy Star Wars Day for the, well, you're not watching this on Star Wars Day, but happy Star Wars Day yesterday from the future. Um, or from the past, actually, because I'm recording this on Sunday, and tomorrow it won't, it'll be, okay. So from the past, happy Star Wars Day. And, um, yeah. See you later, Verbal Engine 95. Bye.